Hiya! Another little quick video for you. Um, uh, please like my videos if you watch them because um, I don't know if you like these videos or not. I was just sitting there, I got home from work early and I was a bit bored so I thought I'd film a video on how to do eyeliner because I always used to struggle and now I don't because I watched other people's videos so if I can spread the makeup love and help you guys then then I will but if you're really annoyed with these videos I don't know how you can be annoyed because you just don't watch them if you're annoyed at me but I don't know you think I'm a lunatic or whatever I'm going to show you anyway so clip my hair up again Probably do, well, let's clip it up out of the way anyway. Um, I'll show you with two types. So I am using, which I don't really like too much if I'm honest, it's Rimmel Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. You get a little brush with it, which is shockingly shiddle. Don't bother with that. I got this one, which I can't find now, here. See it? It's one of them ones with the arch, and I've trimmed it a bit because it went a bit splayed and old. Uh, it was 99p off eBay. Thoroughly recommend getting one of these because they are a lot easier. I've also got like nail brushes that I've used before. Um, yeah, I've got quite a few going on, but this is my favourite one. So I don't know how hard this is going to be to do. I'll do this side with the brush, I think, yeah. So you can see I've made a little indent in there. So I put it in and then do a little swirly swirl. And then just get a bit off on the back of my hand. So I pull my eye like that because I find it easier. And don't start in the corner first, start in the middle. I'm hoping you can see this and then just do a line to the edge don't have to do it in one big swoop you know you can do it in lots of little goes just to the edge of your eye and then because you've got most of the product off your brush you can then go into the corner of your eye and do your little lines probably a little bit rubbed off by now not an expert of this, it's just how I do it. And to be honest, in the summer I'm not really wearing much eyeliner because I just find that it just ends up all over my face. It kind of transfers up here, which is why I don't like this Rimmel one. Um, if you don't let it dry and you blink, you end up with a big... Well, you get sweaty eyelids. You blink and you end up with an arch up here. Now... So that's that. You got your line now. Don't put any more on your brush. Put this up against your nose and then can you see that it hits the corner of your eye? Now you want your flick to follow the bottom See a lot of people they just do a flick and it goes outwards. See I used to do that and then my eyes looked all slitty and stupid. But it's got to follow this one round as if it was carrying on up there. So follow it with your nose and then it's difficult to do this one because it's an arched brush. But follow it from this bit of your eye and then just do with your eye open a little indent like that so I've just got a little bit of a, a line there now to guide me now you can put I will allow you to put some more product on your brush so now now you can see I've got this little dash here so that's where I want my flick to come down to here like that so you come down to your eye, to the corner, and then the top of the flick you want to bring down to meet your other black line. Okay? 
Can you see that? So now I've got a little triangle. So you can then go in and tidy up. You can extend your flick if you want it a little bit longer, a little bit pointier. And then you fill in that triangle. Okay. So that is a flick. Comment if you do it another way and you think it's easier. But that's how I do it. When I just make a little mark on my base so I know what angle I'm going in. And then I usually bring it down a little bit here and just fade it off. And then I'll... Um, do the waterline and the top line, do my lashes and all that. So that's that one. I haven't really filled it in very well. It's a bit hard to do it with the mirror so far away. But there we go. That's how I do it. And I find that quite easy. Now, you can do it if you don't have a brush and you don't want to go and buy some waterproof gel eyeliner um, one of these collection fast strokes will do the same thing now this brush isn't too it's not long enough to do the whole nose thing so let's do it the other way around first let's do the flick first so I'm still lining it up with the bottom what I'm gonna do is just get a bit of tissue preferably a bit without any snot on it get a bit of tissue and just wipe off the majority so then when I put my little mark on don't get it too much place too messy so I've just done a little whoop, It's like a little line, okay? Then you go back in. This is just a collection. It used to be collection 2000, but it's just collection now. So, again, I always go in the middle first. These brushes are quite hard. So, I've got my line. bit more on the tip so what I do is I can go down to the eyeliner line and go down to the bottom line it's going to be quite a big one thick one and I absolutely hate this eyeliner if any of my friends are watching this and you like it it's a waterproof one it's collection when you're next year doing your makeup feel free to just take it with you because I hate it but this is just for the benefit of the camera it is possible that is much easier with a brush just blobs everywhere and then I end up with a bigger flick than I actually wanted. So that's that. That's a huge one. And then always go underneath so it kind of meets up with your eyes. So you get that kind of feline flick. As I say, 99p. Invest. eBay. Do it. Do it. This is the best, 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 best eyeliner you'll ever find. I've got black all on my nose, no. Um, it's MAC, Black Track, Fluid Line. Unfortunately, mine has all dried out. I tried to microwave it like they suggest, but I forgot it was in there and microwaved it to a singe. Now it won't do anything. So I need to invest in some more of that. See, this is making my eye sore and it's going to start running now. It's just it's awful. So, don't buy that. 
really, really stinging my eye. Maybe I'm just having an allergic reaction to it or something. But it makes my eye water and then it just all crusts off. It's supposed to be waterproof, but because um, you have natural wrinkles around your eye when you're 31 like I do. Um, laughter lines, they are. Not wrinkles. Because I laugh all the time, that's why. Um, it just they crease and then it crumbles and it all ends up under here definitely go with a cream one um mac and i think clinique is a very very good one um clinique apparently is better than mac but i haven't tried it myself so yes there we go um practice 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 just think before you're having a bath or something oh i'll practice my cat flick and give it a go um you can if you really really want a wicked night out and you want to do the whole um like huge cat flick can't find the lid now it's gone if you want to do like a solid black eye so you'll you'll do your cat flick like you've done but then you kind of just follow it round here and then extend it do you want me to show you that you wanted to do like a massive clubby black eye you were going out get a good brush go over like this color it all in this is very very quick and then you just kind of follow your line up and then you still do it the same follow it back as if that was your eyeliner And you can do a little point in this corner. This suits some people, not others. It doesn't suit me, so don't leave a horrible comment saying you look stupid, because I know. And then... This is safe for your waterline, by the way. Make sure you do every little bit of skin that's showing possible. I haven't got my contacts in, which is why I, I can't see very well. Okay, so that's that. And then you just get a black eyeshadow. And you want to set that, really. I'll find a brush. Just using this one. I think it was a... Too Faced, and it's called Ooh and R. And it's a black and silver one. And it's got a bit of glitter in the black. And then I'm just pat, pat, pat. Cause that is setting that now. What you can do if you don't want that harsh line, you can get a clean brush. running out of clean brushes and then you can just soften that up if you want some people use like a brown to soften it up That's a brush. better brush better brush you kind of get my drift so if you don't want that really crisp line going over your eye you just blend it Okay, so that's like extreme, not even smoky eye, that's just extreme cat eye. Um, and I would definitely recommend using a MAC for that. Um, you can do a little point here. And then as I say, I've left that really crisp underneath, but you can blend the whole top and the bottom. Um, I don't know whether it's because I've got brown eyes, blonde hair, what, well, I just don't think it suits me. Um, and my friend, it really, really suits her, but it just, I don't think it suits me. But you can do the full works, you can add a bit of glitter, some eyelashes, you know, do your brows really big. But I'd only really wear that for a really outrageous night out um, and probably in the winter because I, I just get it all around my face. So that's that. That's the cat eye taken to the extreme um 
have a play around with it. It's just makeup. Don't be scared. Um, I'm going to go now because I've been 15 minutes and you've probably all gone. <laughs> See you later. Bye.